Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my summer beauty essentials. So let's just go ahead and get started. So a big thing for me is skincare and I feel like in the summertime skincare is like even more important because it is so hot you don't want your pores like clogging and you want your makeup to sit well on your face. So my favorite thing to use are sheet masks. These are two of my favorites by Leaders in Solution. And this one's What Happened Last Night, and this one's Pores Gone for Good. I've purchased multiple sets of these, and I swear by them. My skin feels so moisturized and just feels completely different once these masks are off, and I let them kind of like soak into my skin. So I definitely recommend sheet masks as like a must for the summer. And another thing I recommend is eye gels. So these are by Skin Iceland. I know multiple brands have these, but these are just the ones I use. And they're the Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. And I put them on on my under eyes and kind of just go about my morning and then I take them off. And I honestly see the biggest difference in like my dark circles because my under eyes are very dark and I honestly don't understand why. I sleep well like even though I have a one-year-old and a four-year-old, like my four-year-old's been sleeping through the night for like the longest, and my one-year-old has been sleeping through the night since he was like two months old, so I really have like no idea why my under eyes are so, so dark, because I get like a really good amount of sleep each night, so I don't know, but I use these to kind of make my under eyes look semi-decent, and I feel like they do work. They make them kind of like less puffy, and just overall like the feeling of my under eyes feels so nice and like hydrated and it doesn't feel like dry at all under there which is something that's very important to me because if I apply concealer and it's really dry you can really tell once like my makeup sets so I've been loving these and I really do recommend them and moisturizers are something that are very important to me so this is the Cetaphil daily hydrating lotion it is very affordable and it doesn't leave your face oily at all whatsoever so this is one of my favorite moisturizers and to just kind of cleanse my face this has been one of my favorites it's the juice beauty the organic solution stem cellular two-in-one cleanser I find that this one not only really cleanses the skin but it leaves my skin really soft and not kind of like that rubbery like rough feeling afterwards so it actually really does help my skin type because if it leaves my skin really dry then I kind of have to go in with a ton of moisturizer and to kind of get my skin back to like its normal balance and I feel like when that happens my skin tends to break out from like being so so dry but when I use this one I feel like it just leaves my skin feeling so nice that I can either go in with a light moisturizer and not even go in with a moisturizer at all. I will be traveling this summer and this is the only product I plan on taking to like wash my makeup off because of the fact that it works so well that like I really don't need anything else. And I quickly want to mention like a hair must have for me is dry shampoo whether I'm traveling or just you know it's so hot in the summertime that I really do recommend dry shampoo. I feel like dry shampoo really does help especially if you are swimming or being in the sun a lot you want to have your hair kind of last a little bit longer between washes. I personally like doing that so I'll spray a little bit of this on like my second day hair do a cute little braid put my hair up or I'll just kind of wear it down but it still looks clean and smells really good because of the dry shampoo and this is the Batiste light breezy and fresh I love the way this smells I feel like out of all the products this one is a must especially if you're going on vacation to make sure that your hair kind of lasts throughout your vacation so I want to start off with kind of like the priming sprays. I have the Mario Badesco, the Hard Candy Sheer Envy, and the Juice Beauty Hydrating Mist. All three of these I love the same. I use the Hard Candy one the most like on camera just because I have the primer that kind of goes with it. But um, all these pretty much just refresh my makeup whether I'm doing it right before I do my makeup or right afterwards. They all have misters that work beautifully like they don't spit at you they kind of just mist your face and um make it so that like either you can let it 
dry or kind of pat it in and I love them all the same I actually just repurchased my juice beauty one and they're all very affordable I believe under $15 easily so way better than going to like Sephora and purchasing like a $20-30 setting spray or primer spray these all work the same leave my makeup looking very nice and in the summertime it's so hot that like sometimes just pulling one of these out of your purse and kind of like spraying your face doing like a light little mist can be so refreshing like right now that was much needed with all these lights and it just kind of cools you off and makes sure your makeup still kind of stays in place which is something I love in the summertime I do not wear a lot of makeup unless I'm doing a tutorial but for if you're going on vacation like I know in this hot hot weather sometimes a little refresher feels very nice so these are just three of my personal favorites and sticking with primers I love wearing a primer whether I have a full face of makeup or I'm wearing nothing I feel like pore filling primers for me are very like essential just because I do have some pores that I, I would like to blur honestly especially if I'm not wearing makeup if you have oily skin I would recommend like a mattifying primer and dry skin I hydrate my skin enough to where I don't need to go in with like a very hydrating primer but they do have some really good ones on the market two of my favorite primers for pore filling are the Smashbox photo finish foundation primer and the NYX pore filler this one I feel like if you do have oily skin skin might kind of help because of the consistency of it I feel like it kind of not only blurs but kind of mattifies my skin in a way as well but these two are my two favorites and for sunscreen I hate sunscreen like I'm just gonna be honest every time I put sunscreen on my face I break out and it's not like oh a little breakout it's like the ones that like hurt that are like under your skin and so I'd rather have my face get sunburnt than wear sunscreen up until I found these two. This one I'm not going to talk too much about just because of the fact that I can't really pronounce the name and I just tried it and, but it, I mean it works. So this is what the box looks like. It was a little sample at my local Walgreens. I will have the name in the description box because it just says so much like I don't even know how to pronounce it so I've been using this and I really like it I've used it maybe four or five times and I have not broken out at all which is a surprise because normally I go in the pool and like by the end of the time that I'm done with like normal sunscreen I feel like I already have like a breakout coming up somewhere and I hate it so with this one I haven't had that experience at all I will let you guys know if anything changes but this is a drugstore version that works very well the one I'm gonna mention right now is really expensive and if you don't have like, I don't want to say I have acne prone skin because I kind of really don't, but I just have sensitive skin. We'll put it that way. And um, yeah, this is over the top expensive. Like I think it's around $40, $50. So yeah, um, this is a Josie Maron Argon Daily Moisturizer S SPF 47, which is such an odd number. Why couldn't it be 50 or 40? Um, and it's to protect and perfect with natural broad spectrum and hydro boost. And this is what it looks like. I know mine's a little bit dirty, but what I love about it is the fact that, again, it does not break me out, but it kind of has like a tint. Like, do you guys see that? And then I blend it out and it shears out, but it just leaves my skin looking so nice and let me just fully blend it out so you guys can like see I know it kind of has like a bronzy pinky undertone but once you blend it all in you can't really like tell and it does kind of have a slight like smell to it and this kind of has like a slight sheen but that doesn't really bother me I feel like it makes my skin look really nice and it doesn't clog my pores at all whatsoever it does a really great job of like not letting me get sunburned because we'll be out there for like two or three hours at a time and yeah my face just feels really well like I use this two summers ago I believe I purchased it and I feel like I didn't really like it back then but now that I'm trying it again I love it like when we go on vacation I will be taking this guy I'll be taking both of them but most likely I'll be wearing this one 
And another product that's kind of similar to that is the Balm Shelter Tinted Moisturizer, but this is only SPF 18. As you guys know, this is my favorite tinted moisturizer, so if you want a little bit of coverage, I recommend this guy. I swear by him. I swear, like, I love this little um, tinted moisturizer. I've used so much of it, but I know for vacation I'll have to get, like, a darker shade because... I'm gonna go get a spray tan and I'm so excited so if you guys get spray tans like regularly can you guys leave me any like tips on like where to go um like any information I should honestly know there's a couple places I've been seeing but I'm not sure like I'm kind of scared I don't want to come out like looking orangey I want like that nice like dark bronze so I can be like all one color um, on vacation because like with the bathing suit that I've been wearing in our pool like I've been getting like all sorts of like different tan lines and stuff so I want to be all even for vacation um, but anyways this is definitely my favorite tinted moisturizer it is a bit pricey but I personally have not found a tinted moisturizer at the drugstore that I like and that doesn't make me look orange if you guys have any recommendations leave them down below and I'll be sure to test them out and let you guys know what I think and for summer like I don't like wearing a lot of makeup like I've said but if I have to or even on vacation because I'm kind of making this kind of like a summer vacation -y type of video if I have to wear makeup I already know which foundations I will take the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint and the number seven state perfect foundation in Southern California it has been so hot I think the hottest it's been is like 105 to me that's just like way too much like I need to stay in air conditioning like I cannot go outside I know in other states it gets really hot but for me like 105 like getting into the 90s and 100s is just way too much for me and these two foundations I've worn them out and they have not broken up the area where foundation always tends to break up is literally right here so up, upper lip first and uh the chin area and then the nose area these two have put up the test and I'm so happy that they passed because where we're going to vacation is in Arizona so I know it's gonna be like a million times hotter out there these two have been able to put up with the California heat so I'm pretty sure they'll be able to put up with Arizona's heat let's hope so <laughs> for like a little glow um because you know summer's all about like that glow i have the becca shimmering skin perfector liquid in the shade champagne pop this if i'm not wearing any makeup i'll put on like the high points of my face maybe on the body i don't really do that much of that body but we'll see maybe on vacation i might do that and just yeah if you want a liquid glow i recommend any of the becca shimmering skin perfectors becca has a very blinding formula and very creamy pigmented i mean i could go on about their formula but this is definitely my favorite liquid highlighter let me just show you guys that's what it looks like so it's very pigmented and i really love their formulas so if you're looking for a really good liquid highlighter i definitely recommend becca and if i need to set my makeup at all most likely my under eyes i will take a powder and this is probably the only powder that i'll take the airspun loose face powder is a powder that always holds up on me no matter what so i mean I don't need an expensive powder I believe it's like $8 I'll be taking my little guy and making sure my makeup stays in place in the summertime on vacation in the winter whenever this guy is always there for me and never lets my makeup look a mess so he's definitely going with me moving on to eyes this is like the last segment of this video and for brows, most likely I won't take any brow powder. I might, and that might be my Anastasia Beverly Hills Medium Brow Powder Duo. I'm not sure though because my brows are looking pretty good recently. So I might just take my Essence Make Me Brow, and this is in the shade 02 Brownie Brows. I swear by this little guy. He's like maybe less than five dollars and makes my brows just look so good adds a nice little tint to them and I'm all about the very minimal makeup especially in the summer and especially on vacation I don't want to be messing with my face too much unless we're going out to dinner then I'll kind of add a zhuzh up my makeup a little bit but other than that like if I'm just going to be on the lake or you know tanning or you know playing in water with my boys 
I'm not gonna bother with like doing like sculpted brows like no I'm not that type of person but if you are then um, I still recommend the Essence Make Me Brow because it does add a very nice tint to your brows so I love this little guy and I will be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel but not for my brows like because this works even better than clear mascara I love doing this just curling my lashes putting a little bit on and my eyes look wide awake they look my lashes look so good but if I get in the water it doesn't matter because it's not gonna like smear black on my face no it's just clear gel like nothing's gonna really happen so this is definitely one of my favorite little like tricks if you want to call it for vacation summer whenever like you'll never catch me with mascara in the water um, maybe going out to dinner I'll take a mascara I'm kind of like jumping around which one I would want to take and which one I want to recommend to you guys so that's why I didn't really bring it up in this video but for like a clear mascara I really do recommend the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel because it can be a mascara or it can be a brow gel I mean it does a great job at being both and lastly which eyeshadow palette do I recommend for this summer this is the hardest portion of the video for me to narrow down what I recommend to you guys because in the summertime I'm essentially thinking maybe you guys are going on vacation or just the heat the colors like there's just so many things I'm thinking about when it comes to summertime palette and I'm sad to say that I wasn't able to narrow it down I have three so forgive me I'm sorry but I couldn't narrow it down I need to figure this out because we're going on vacation next month like literally in a month we're going on vacation so I need to get it together and figure out which palette um, let's start off with the one the most simple one and the one that I feel like anyone can just throw in their purse in their luggage in their makeup bag and go this is the Tarte Tartlet and Bloom eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love this palette. This was in one of my favorites videos. It's very neutral, simple. I feel like this with a good liner, a mascara, and you're set. Like this eyeshadow palette has deep colors, cool tones, a little bit of shimmer, some very neutral colors. Like if you're just going to go out to dinner, while on vacation, or just in the summertime, this palette is perfect for you. Very minimalistic, and I love that. These next two palettes that I'm going to share with you guys are new, are collaborations with YouTubers, are palettes that I love so much, and now that I'm thinking about packing and like saying that they're like summer must-have palettes, I'm just kind of like... I just hope it doesn't break because they're just huge. They're big palettes. And what I'm talking about is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and the Carly Bible and BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. So the Jaclyn Hill palette is literally like the only eyeshadow palette you'll probably ever need. It has everything in there. All the warm tone colors, all the pinks, the blues, the purples, like the dark black, the brow bone highlight, the neutrals, the cool tones, warm tones, it has everything. But with the plus, like the material of it, I'm scared to take it on vacation. Like, yeah, it has like a magnetic closure, but I'm kind of scared to take it with me especially because it is kind of like cardboard I'm scared that it'll kind of dent in my luggage because this will not fit in like my makeup bag like no this just won't fit and it's limited edition and everything like that and it's not back in stock and so I'm just really scared to take this anywhere so probably won't take this on vacation but as you guys can see like the colors scream like you, take me you get what I mean and the Carly Bible eyeshadow palette is a little smaller and it has all your highlighting shades and the purples the bronze the pinks the perfect brow bone colors I mean the highlights like this palette is beautiful as well but it's just also a little too big so I'm honestly like recommending them as like the perfect palettes for summer I'm just not sure for vacation if these two will like survive it like I'd be scared to take these on vacation they are beautiful have like the perfect colors the Carly Bible palette has highlighters which makes it so you have one less thing to pack 
but I'm just scared that they will break and this one is just so compact that I think like I recommend these like I recommend these I stand behind them I think they're great eyeshadow palettes but for the purpose of summertime essentials maybe taking it on vacation I'm gonna have to go with the Tarte Tartlet and Bloom palette just because I feel like it is more travel friendly and paired with a really good eyeliner this palette you're solid like you're solid with this palette and um yeah so like I had said we are going to be going on vacation in a month from now and we're going to be going to Arizona we're going to be going to the lake Lake Havasu and uh, I'm going to be gone for an entire week with my husband and our boys so I will be pre-filming so that week you guys have videos but let me know if you guys would like me to vlog it if you guys would like me to you know vlog the drive there what we do at the lake uh, what we do that entire week because it's going to be an entire week Friday to Friday of just being on vacation and I'm so ready and like so excited for it and I know my husband and like my boys are so excited as well so let me know if you guys would like to see that and I'll be sure to make it happen and also let me know what videos you guys would like me to do next and hold on <laughs> do not forget that I do have a giveaway going on one of you will get the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette if you'd like more info on this then just go ahead and go down into my description bar we'll have all the products down below and I'll also have how to enter in this giveaway so do not forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye